Hello and welcome to the final episode of Mammal Detective. I hope you've enjoyed the series and if you haven't seen them all please go back and check them out. But today I'm going to do a couple of stories that I just didn't quite manage to get into previous episodes. So let's have a look first at Marvellous Moles. So I've got a couple of things to do in the garden today. Firstly I'm going to collect up all the mole hills. Moles have now finished uh, their territory building so you don't tend to get uh, many mole hills once they've actually dug their little tunnel system. So if you are worried about mole hills just wait until they've, they've done their bit and then just you can scoop the soil up, you can use it in your flower beds. I'm going to put it in our potato planter so I'm going to do that. And the second thing is to mow the lawn but in a wildlife friendly way. So anyway time to get into the garden. Now there's a certain amount of bare soil where the mole hills were. I'm going to leave that because actually bare soil is also a habitat and it's great for mining bees. And here I can see there's already a little mining bee burrow in the soil. So for me, I'm just going to leave those patches as they are. They're great. So the moles have done a wonderful job. We've got this beautiful friable soil which um, is going to be perfect to put in my homemade planter. That's just made of pallets and uh, old bits of wood. Um, we've got some actual compost as well but the mixture of the two should make a really good bed for our potatoes for this summer. So what are the moles doing underground? They're basically creating a network of tunnels that they can patrol up and down. This is their territory and they will just look for any earthworms or other insects that fall in there that they can feed on. The molehills are only created during this initial phase and for most of the year you probably won't even realise you've got moles because they're just moving up and down this existing territory. Underground there's only about 6% of the air is oxygen and that can be a real problem uh, most animals, including ourselves, would die in those sorts of conditions. So they have a huge amount of haemoglobin in their blood and about twice as much blood of any other mammal of their size. So they can absorb every bit of oxygen from that, what would normally be a toxic atmosphere, even to burrowers like badgers and water voles, rabbits and foxes. Now you very rarely see a mole above ground, so how do they travel around? Well they create these little mole tunnels and they're very close to the surface so it's not their permanent territory but it's just a way to move around and explore and you generally only see them when you've got fairly bare soil around. And these time lapse uh, photographs show you what's going on. Down near my bird feeder we've got a little bit of tunnelling and also towards the back you'll spot them um, just moving along and then the vegetation gets pushed up. So it's definitely possible to live with a little bit of inconvenience and actually turn it into a positive. For the next story, I'm taking a look at a battle I've been waging with some animals in my garden for some time. Who's trying to get to my peanut feeders and can I stop them? It seems not.
So I'm going to play out with some clips of animals that I've seen in and around my garden over the last 14 weeks. I hope you've enjoyed the journey and remember there's plenty of other content on Essex Wildlife TV on our YouTube channel and social media so please do have a look and remember to stay wild. Hello and welcome to the final episode of Mammal... Mammal... Blah.